Okay guys, welcome back. This video is for everyone that's been on my channel since at least 2015. If you watched me back then, you might remember this little video that I did on the Ellis Sparse capsule. Do you remember this? Is this ringing any bells? <laughs> I uploaded a video in 2015 losing my shit with the Ellis Sparse makeup set. Basically this makeup brand, Ellis Sparse, uh, creates products centered around this little capsule concept and pen concept. It's really unique and I was really interested in it back in 2015 and I spent a lot of money on it because it is kind of like pricey stuff. And I bought it and I reviewed it and it was a freaking nightmare. There was one eyeshadow where stuff just didn't come out of the cap and then the eyeliner like jizzed all over itself and it was just, it was a journey. You've got to go watch it. Pause this right now and go back and watch that video because it's a laugh. All right. Anyway, I like the products, but the delivery system didn't work. I was twisting this eyeshadow for literally a whole hour. I mean, my hand hurt. I got carpal tunnel. I had to go to the hospital. No, In the end, I didn't give it like that great a review. Anyway, fast forward to 2019, current time, and I received a package, <laughs> which I, I did not ever give my address to this company, but it's from Ellis Fast. And in it was this letter. <clears throat> Amsterdam, 10th of May, 2019. Yes, I've been procrastinating this video. <laughs> Dear Chloe, hope you are well. Maybe you heard already, but since you posted your Ella Spa video several years ago, we haven't sat still. We have repackaged the whole Ellis Eyes section that I would love for you to try. Please note that all eyes now have a cap that needs to be twisted, not pulled. Winky smiley face. I also included some extra things that are either relatively new or that you might not have tried before. Plus there is a personal gift from Ellis. Happy playing and all the best. Tis far. I was firstly mortified that they saw my video because I really do like their products. It was just like two of the products that didn't work very well. But I then received this big box of Ellis Far makeup. Let's see what I got. We got the glow up highlighter and then the case. This box of the pens, so there's like all these, so let's take that out. So we're going to play with those. And then there's also this creepy thing which looks like a spine, but you're meant to put the products in it like that and then you can like wrap it up. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I actually think it's pretty cool, but it is some like alien spine shit. Ooh! Did I just break it? Not a great start, Chloe. But you know, there. Pretty cool. So if you don't want to buy the capsule, you can buy this. And then they also included this beautiful makeup book on the edge of beauty. So I would like to say a big thank you, Ellis Fast. Firstly, for listening to and watching my video. And then secondly, for sending me all these products because I am going to try it out again on my face. I'm going to be honest, I'm scared. These are my old products. I need to make sure I do not confuse them. So I'm just going to take everything out of the capsule. So they all like look the same until you look at the tip. Lip products are labeled with like L something something. The eye ones are labeled with E and the face ones, what's the S? Oh, S is for skin. And then you've got your liner and your mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'll just, give me a sec. I'm just gonna open all this. That's all empty. Of course, got to recycle. And then I received this highlighter. Illuminating powder comes with a little puff and then it comes I guess you buy the case so this case magnet oh wait sticky magnet actually stick that at the bottom of the pan there and then you can put your powder on top and it magnetize magnetizes it in and then you've got the lid here the lid's got a mirror in it that's pretty cute and then you can have it like that separately, or you can put the pan in the lid of the capsule if you want. What I might actually do is put all my products in this instead. Okay, I've put mine in the Ellis thing. So now it looks like that, which is pretty handy and a lot more minimalist and I guess affordable than this too. Now I'm gonna try all these out and decide what's gonna go in my capsule. I'm gonna try to do a full face. And then these are all the old ones. And I think hopefully we'll see if I want to try any of these and see if they still work. We can. We already know I'm not going to be trying that sparkly one though. 
So the foundation is the really fat one and they didn't send me a new one of this, so I'm gonna use the same one. Hopefully it works. They sell the foundation in a bottle, which is very good, but they also do still have it in the pen for on the go and you get a little second cartridge because it's a very small amount of product. So I cleaned these just to make sure that hopefully it would work and I used just a brush cleaner on my face halo. The brush cleaner was just this manicure one. Oh, I heard a satisfying little sound. I think stuff's coming out. So this is in S104 and I don't know if it's gonna be the right color or not. It has literally been four years. This product should probably technically be off, but that's not how I live my life. Do as I say, not as I do. So don't use old foundation, but today I'm gonna use old foundation. Oh, it looks like a nice match for me. Oh, this is, how did I get the product out again? Pressing it? Wait, how did I do that? I think I just broke it. I think the clicker broke. Oh, yeah, it got stuck in there. Shit. Okay, well, all right, we're still here. I'm not surprised, like, this foundation probably should not be used right now, but... Now, the other thing is, is that this little tiny brush is, like, too small, in my opinion, for me to do my face. But I feel like it would be good for, like, the airplane, because it's so small, you can definitely take it on the airplane. It is such a nice foundation, though, no matter what. But I'm gonna have to take a big brush now and buff it out. I'm gonna take my Smashbox brush. <laughs> my earrings are like... I think that looks really nice. So that can go in my capsule. I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows. Okay, brows on. I just did that really quickly and now I'm gonna go onto my eyes. So if you remember in that video, I had bought three eyeshadows. I had bought E109, E303, and E105. So one brown, one nude, and one glimmery one. And that's how they were before. So they were the twisty ones. So the pressure inside the pen would force the product up out of a little hole that's in there. My issue was that it was clogged or the pressure mechanism wasn't working or whatever. So these are the new ones that she sent me. I'm gonna take them out. One, two, three. This is what she meant in the letter when she said the cap needs to be twisted, not full. So, winky face. Problem solved. Okay, we are gonna have some fun right now. I'm gonna recreate the look that I had in that video, which means I'm gonna start out with E109. So it still looks like a pen, it still looks really cool, but it's like this. So I'm gonna put that on. And then I'm going to use a big brush for that to get it all over my eye. That worked great. I might put some up here, some in here. So yeah, the E109 is a really nice neutral shade for all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with the E303. It does look a bit more bronze than what I remember. I thought it was brown. But that's okay. And then using the Sigma E25 brush. Goes well with my top. Nice. Nice and easy. Other side. I love that, guys. There was none of the issues, obviously. That's great. Putting it back in the thing. Now we're into the eyeshadow that caused me all of those troubles. The dreaded E3. Okay guys, I have just confused myself. I accidentally used the shimmery shadow that I wanted to put on my lid in the crease because in the other video it turns out that I couldn't even get the eyeshadow to work. So like I was saying, I thought that this color looked different to what I had used in the crease last time. It's because the eyeshadow I wanted for my lid is the crease color. So the crease color that I was actually looking for is E105, which is a matte brown. And so I'm gonna deepen up the C here. I'm gonna use this really good little crease brush and I'll blend that out. Oh, memories from 2015. 
I love how the eyeshadow doesn't look powdery. It looks like skin. That's really nice. Love the doe foot. Love this rich brown shade. Put a tiny, tiny amount on. So the shimmery one that they also sent me is called E301 and I didn't have that last time. So this one is a beautiful kind of white gold shimmery color. I'm gonna put that on my eyelid and then let's blend that out. Then I'll take that first blending brush, make sure the edges are softened. It's really pretty, it's really bright. I'm loving these color combos with my shirt. Ooh, so this video is going well. I like that. The shimmer is so pretty on the eyelid. It blended out really nice and easily. I did get a little bit confused by the colors. Um, I guess something I don't like is when shades are numbered with a number rather than a name. Like it's just confusing to me. I was like, really, I was wondering what parallel universe I was in. But I figured it out in the end and I love the result. Now, for eyeliner, now if you remember, I loved the eyeliner, but I had troubles last time because it was, it like exploded out of the tip really fast. So they sent me an eyeliner. Is it gonna be the same? No, it's another wand applicator. Like this one was the twisty one. I doubt it's gonna even come out. But yeah, that's what it was. And it just wasn't working for me on the day. When it finally came out, I loved it, but yeah. This time it's like a traditional liquid liner with a little felt. And you know what? Typically I prefer brush tips. So the felt tip, I'm gonna be sad if I prefer the old style. So we've got that. It's really small and precise though. I'm gonna attempt. So far, so good guys. Sorry, I can't talk while I do this. You understand, I'm sure. I really like that. Hey. Ooh, that's nice. I should quit while I'm ahead. That looks good. Let's move on to the other eye. Okay. A nice little wing is what I went for. Let's see if I can get it on the other side. Okay, so far I like it, but I think the bristles are quite short, so I keep having to do like a lot of strokes rather than being able to do like one consistent stroke. And when you're trying to make a thin line, it kind of just gets caught up in the eyelashes. So I do miss the old pen, but I understand why they changed it. And I have got a good result like with this. It's also a matte finish. It's also when I like to hold it nice and close, I'm getting the ink all over my finger, which is something that, you know, I don't like. Okay, so the liner definitely got larger. I do like the eyeliner, but I prefer the old eyeliner with the pen tip. Now, one of the products I loved last time was the mascara. It's a traditional mascara wand, but of course this one's all dried out because it's so old. So I'm gonna chuck that and I'll have to use a different mascara. I'll just use this little Estee Lauder one that I've got. Okay, for the eye look to finish off, I'm gonna use the Milano Lashes from my collaboration with Ailua. That's them up close. I think they're really pretty for the holiday period. Obviously, I'm doing the holiday look. These have the 18 hour hold latex free glue and you can reuse them up to five times. So Ailua was founded in the 40s, guys, 1940s. Wait, let me use my tweezers. It is just easier with tweezers. By two brothers, sticking the inner corner. And then the outer corner. And they were developed to work in film. And now here we are. And I have a lash line with them. You can get my eyelashes at um, Priceline in Australia only, just Australia. These are easily my favorite eyelashes, um, like from my range and not from my range because the Milano ones, they're so natural looking. Like if I look up, I feel like they actually look like my lashes, but better. And they just seem to get better the more you wear them because they're not as flawless and so they look more like real lashes. And this is when people are gonna be like, are they your real lashes? You know? And then because of they've got the invisible band as well, they just sit to your eyes so good. Love, obviously. So the other thing I was really confused about last time was the Skin 303 pen, which I thought was like a bit of a bronzer, even though it said it was a blush. 
because it was such a warm bronzy color you know that's what i thought so do they send me this one s303 they sent me s302 oh it's a pen uh oh oh and it's coming out a lot came out so i mean that's kind of what happens i should have been more patient but it's a blush really nice color let me see if i can use this one anymore so let me see if i can get the bronzer one to work you can see deep into the chasm and it's coming out oh it's a miracle you guys oh my goodness okay and i had the issue where last time i put too much on so i'm just gonna put a small amount on lovely beautiful bronzer you guys know i love cream face products you know it really surprised it still works as well okay other side now for the blush that's s302 oh i love the color just do a quick preliminary blend and then go back for a little bit of concealer under the eyes i don't have a concealer in my shade from Ellis Vars. So I'll use my Shiseido Synchro Skin in 202 Light. Now I can go ahead with my powder, I think. And so this is the powder that I've had for quite a while. Look how shiny my forehead is. And it's just a translucent. Just get rid of some of that shine. Whew, what fun revisiting that shit show from all those years ago. Now we're not done yet. I do of course have to do lips. So they sent me four lip products. So I've got a red, what looks like a brown, a nude, and two nudes. So, so two of these come with a brush and two of them come with the doe foot. So I feel like I'm gonna go for milky lips. That will make this a nice holiday look and it's got red on the bottom. So I assume it's gonna be red. Just keep twisting, just keep twisting. I'm glad some of their products still have the twisty feature. Oh yeah, this one's a nice blue red. You can see it popping out the top. Okay. Ooh, I like how that came out. I'm just looking at myself in the monitor now. Cool, 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 cool. Now I am just missing the highlighter, so I'll take that on a little brush. Very velvety finish, not too like glossy or anything. And it's not a blinding powder, which I quite like. I feel like it's the kind of highlighter you can be really liberal with. I love that. The cool thing about the pen foundation is this. You can use it to clean up. I'm just brush my hair. And then let's discuss. I really like how my makeup came out. And that was actually a relatively painless makeup application. I didn't really have any issues. Foundation, I shouldn't even really mention because... Oh, I just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Um... The foundation is old, okay? I've had it for four years now. Um, I like to think that it's sanitary, like the product is kept inside and then the brush is just on the end, so it's not like a wand or anything like that. So I had sterilized the tip. I think it's fine. I don't think I'm gonna die, but I will let you know if I do. The eyeshadows, love them. I love the doe foot uh, little applicators. I think it's way better, so much more, so much more improved compared to the little pump applicator. I mean, that was a wild ride last time and it was really easy to do this time. The eyeliner, I do actually miss the traditional eyeliner. I'm gonna see if this still works, but we are not gonna keep my hopes up. With this one, uh, it's still good, but I found it a little bit harder to use and I do miss the brush tip. I also got it on my hands because of the length of the wand. And the lip products as well I actually really like, although I did find this one a little bit streaky in application, but it just took a bit of blending and I got it. All in all, oh, and the powder. I really like the powder highlight. I think it looks really pretty. What do you think? Not your typical blinding highlight we're used to seeing here on YouTube. So loved that. And I also really like this little thing. It's a nice way to keep everything in one place. And then I can pick and choose my favorites for when I'm traveling or put in my purse. Like I still really like the system and I still really think that it's such a cool idea and I'm I'm really happy that they listen to their customers and fixed something that I felt like needed to be fixed. I thought that was my teeth, but it's not. Mm. I really am loving 
this holiday look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this little review, look back on an old video, and of course, holiday makeup look using the Ellis Far makeup set. Big shout out to them for sending that on. I thought that was really cool that they sent me their personal letter. I've been really excited to this video, so I'm happy that I finally got it done, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please leave a comment below what you want to see next. And wait, let me just see. If you've come this far, let me give you a little present. Oh, I know, I'll give away some of my lashes. I'll send someone my entire range of lashes with Eilul. So just leave a comment letting me know what you thought. I especially want to hear from people that have been watching me for a long time and what you thought of this. Leave a comment, subscribe, and thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.